What is up ladies and gentlemen, CJ the Cheese DJ here and we are back with another Genesis video for you guys today. And today guys, we're taking a look at the maximum melee damage and maximum movement speed of the Astrocetus as I like to call them, or the Space Whales. I don't get why their saddle's called Astrocetus saddle, but they're called Space Whales. Kind of dumb, they should be one or the other. Uh, but yeah guys, so we've got three of these big whaley boys here today. This is the one we're going to be using for melee damage. And then we'll be using one as the test subject. So this big boy right here, he's going to be our test subject. We're going to grab the saddle off him and we're just going to unclaim him as soon as we change him to passive. I don't know why our whistles are not working. It's extremely frustrating. Got no idea why it's happening. So we're going to unclaim this spacey boy and uh, he's going to allow us to use him as a punching bag pretty much. So this big boy here, he's got 307.6 melee damage, which is the highest out of a lot of them. So we're going to give him all the XP and bump his melee damage up to maximum. So you can see we've got all 88 levels. Let's let's take a chunk out of our friend next to us and see how much damage we do as soon as we turn around because we're slow moving. All right, almost there. I believe in you, mate. You can do it. There we go. No, can you just not hit him or are you retarded, Mr. Space Whale? Okay, 89 damage. That's how much we hit for with our bite attack. Our uh, tail fling attack, 230. So significantly more damage on that attack than the, uh, the bite attack. So 230 damage for the tail swing. Now I, for the life of me, cannot figure out how to get the, uh, the orbital bombs to drop. I just cannot figure it out for the life of me. So uh, at the moment, we're not gonna cover that one just yet which is a little bit of a shame because obviously I wanted to try and get all of it, but we can't do that, unfortunately. So yeah, so we're working with what, 90, 89 and 230. Let's pump this guy's melee damage up, see what we can do. Alrighty guys, fully maxed out on melee damage, 767. So let's see how much we hit for now. 222, all right. So we're looking at some significantly better uh, damage output there and 575, all right. Now we're talking about, uh, as you guys know, that's 88 points. It's a lot of points. I don't necessarily know if it'd be worth it for these guys because you probably won't be using them to attack all that much. Uh, they do have quite a bit of health though. So that's something you should definitely focus on instead of melee damage, I would say. And uh, probably movement speed for these guys. But now that we've gone over their maximum melee damage, let's go over their movement speed. So uh, this guy is an absolute sloth. He moves so slow. Now, he's obviously got the hyperdrive ability where he teleports him and everything with him in a certain radius into the next location. Uh, so that's pretty decent. But what we're going to do, we're going to chuck in all of the experience points into his movement speed. Let's see how fast he can go. Alrighty, guys. So all the points are put into movement speed. We got up to 188. Let's see how fast we go. Come on, mate, power yourself up. Let's do it. Oh my God, this is so slow. <gasps> that literally made like no difference to his movement speed at all. This guy's still a sloth. He is a whale, I guess. So, I mean, that kind of makes sense, but yeah, he is really slow. I do like the design of these guys though. So I wouldn't recommend using uh the points that you get into movement speed. Definitely don't want to waste your time with that. This is literally like no improvement whatsoever. So I probably would not recommend uh, using this guy in movement speed. I want to try and take a front over with us. That didn't work. So uh, yeah, but guys, that's pretty much going to wrap up the video for today. Not much else to say about this guy. He's uh, not built for damage and he's definitely not built for speed. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe down below for more. But other than that, guys, I will catch you in the next one.